the RBA and they have uh, delivered a rate hike. We are, yep, 1.35% is where they come in for the July decision. So they've raised by 50 basis points. Philip Lowe, of course, was guiding uh, that this would be the bandwidth between 25 and 50 basis points. They've done 100 uh, basis points. Now, September, uh, this, this is the third meeting in a row where we've seen a rate hike. Um, what will they signal in terms of the outlook going ahead? That is the critical thing. Of course, the Aussie dollar was a, a two-year low just the other day. Let's bring in Jules into the conversation. So 50 basis points as expected. Of course, Australia deeply affected by flooding at the moment. But inflation is high, but not as high as other major economies, Jules. Now, this is interesting when it's on the forward guidance in regards to the inflation outlook. They will take further steps to normalize monetary conditions. Jules, join me in the conversation here. 1.35%, uh, 50 basis yeah. points, pretty much as expected. As expected, Manus, and as you say, we've got inflation very high, a 21-year high. In fact, when you look at that core CPI figure in Australia, really interesting that they are pointing to the pain that these floods are going to have on higher prices. But as you mentioned, it is a balance here in terms of trying to rein in some of these very strong prices. They're saying they'll monitor data to determine the timing and size of further rate rises. We've already heard from Morgan Stanley expecting another 50 basis point hike in August as well and quarter point hikes through to November taking the cash rate to 2.6%. I think what's really interesting on the T-Live blog that uh, Bloomberg Terminal subscribers can follow commentary coming through from a lot of our uh, analysis, analysis and uh, Garfield Reynolds says, look, there also is this expectation that you've got these recessionary fears. We were talking yesterday about Nomura saying Australia could face a recession. So are rates tra traders trying to bet that as fast as the RBA increases rates here, they could bring them down in 2023 as well. Uh, the RBA saying an inflation forecast will peak later this year. We mentioned that that is already at a 21-year high and that they're committed to ensuring that inflation returns to their target of 2 to 3 percent next year. The economy no longer needing extraordinary monetary support, which is certainly what helped to uh, support the overall economy during the pandemic. You do have the Aussie dollar, as you mentioned, slipping, still seeing yields spike there and the ASX 200 up by about a third of 1 percent. Of course, a big slide in iron ore as well, not good for Australia's terms of trade manners. Nope, not at all. Uh, and it's having its uh, do whatever it takes moment. Uh, I like that, uh, that Enders actually put in the blog, which is the board is committed to doing what is necessary to ensure that inflation in Australia returns to target over time. Um, Obviously, they're paying close attention to the global outlook, energy prices, and the war in Ukraine clouding the outlook. 